I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. I love these chevron quilts. I just think they're so beautiful how they go together. It's a really easy uh, half square triangle quilt and I want to show you how to do it. When we, we first made one of these, we made this one right here. Let me show you. We stuck it up on Facebook and asked how many of you wanted a tutorial on it. Well, the response was overwhelming. So we're going to show you how to do that right now. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need is one white layer cake and one printed layer cake. This is a great, um, a great pattern to use really with, with any size square and any colors. It'll go together if you separate the colors. It'll go together if you mix them up. If, as long as you use a background that like pops your color, then the zigzag will show up. So let me show you how we do this. The one I'm showing you today, I'm using layer cake squares. I'm going to use a, um, a blue and a white. The, a layer cake is 10 inches square. We're going to put those right sides together. This is how I make my half square triangles. Like this. We're going to sew all the way around the outside edge, quarter of an inch, and then cut it both ways diagonally. So I have one here that's been sewn. You can see that quarter of an inch, it's all the way around. And then I'm going to cut it both directions. So let me slice that off here. Half square triangles are so versatile and you can, uh, you use them in so many different things. There we go, there's one direction. And you want to remember to cut it on the diagonal, corner to corner. There we go. So now instead of two half square triangles, we have four. And we want to take these over and iron them open. We're going to press that flat seam and then roll them back just like that. Makes a nice half square triangle. Let me do one more and then I'll show you how we put these together. Now laying this out really, it's a dream to lay these out. Let me show you. Because you do it in rows and so you're going to go one row where the whites come together like this or your, your background color, your pop color. And then the next row is where your colors come together. And that makes your chevron. So let's do that. Let's just lay out a row together right here. So this top one here, we'll put it so the white is together like this. Actually, let's do that the other way because you're going to see the bottom half of it from where I am. All right, so we're going to put a row where the colors come together. So basically what you're making are um, rows of blocks that are going to look kind of like flying geese. So we'll do, let's do three of these this way. And we're going to put our colors together there. So you're going to match your whites to your white and your color to your color like this. And then you're going to do your next row. The white will be together in the centers. So we're just going to lay it this way. You're going to attach it right, right to it, the second row. And you put the whites together just like that. And you're just going to sew this row to row. And see how that chevron is forming? It zigzags back and forth. I did this with a charm pack. Makes a darling little quilt if you need a little quilt to make. So cute and quick. And then these big ones, this one I used behind me, I used a white layer cake and a colored layer cake. And so the, um, so it makes about, a, oh, close to a queen size quilt. It makes a pretty good quilt. So you can see how that zigzags like that. And that's how you make the chevron quilt. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.